found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the piece of real deal. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Bumping. Yeah. Yeah. He's been living alone here for, what, six years? Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. So, enjoy the party. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. 
and not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist when all the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm... Nothing quite spoils okay. the party like the guests inexplicably from yeah. the day. Yeah, In fact, a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. Stand by. So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realise the risk here, boss. Broad daylight? Workers around. Who exactly is it? Right. It's a nice gesture. But it's a bit yeah, all right. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, what? What was that noise? Wait up! Who? Somebody! <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Can't let you through. Huh. What was that noise? Yeah, hey. If you want to come through, I'm gonna need to pat you down. Hey, yo, there's no need to flex. You ain't got to impress me. Okay, everything seems to be in order here. Hey, yo, get to stepping, Holmes.
Mr. Edwards, Don Yates, I have received your letter. I
it's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether Brand's neurotoxin transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>